In this presentation, we are going to see the challenge associated with sizing and behavior of the DC to DC converter. In the slide, we have got the equivalent circuit of the CEPIC converter. And the challenge is with respect to sizing of passive components and behavior of the converter in continuous and discontinuous conduction mode. The solution is to model and simulate the DC to DC converter and use simulation driven study for various analysis. Let us now get into MATLAB and see how the model looks like. Here, we have got the DC to DC CEPIC converter with an open loop duty cycle. You can observe that I have modeled the converter directly in terms of electrical circuit using Simscape. Simscape enables you to rapidly create models of physical system within Simulink environment. Let me open Simscape library browser and show you how it looks like. As you can see, there are physical components pertaining to different domain and I can go to individual uh, elements, start bringing the Simscape blocks and model my electrical circuit. These blocks can be parameterized as you can see over here and the connection between these blocks are like actual physical connection and it has bidirectional flow of power. With this understanding, let's come back to the problem statement. For the DC to DC converters, assuming that they are working under continuous conduction mode, there are equations to find approximate value of inductance and capacitance. Now, this is where we can plug in these values, fine tune these and see whether my converter is working properly or not. In this case, since the hardware is already available, I've taken the specification from uh, the TI and I've mentioned my inductance value directly and my capacitance value directly over here. Now, I can give around 0.5 duty cycle and give input around 12, simulate my model and see how my output response looks like. And you can clearly see that I'm getting around 12 volt and this signifies that my buck boost converter is working fine under continuous conduction mode. Now, this is where we can do multiple other analysis. For example, when I keep increasing my output load, or let's say I'm decreasing my inductance value to around 10 micro Henry and simulate my model, you can see now the output voltage is no more dependent upon the duty cycle alone. There are several other factors which are affecting the output and this signifies that the converter is working under discontinuous conduction mode. To just validate my statement, let me zoom in into the current inductor current over here. And you can clearly see that I've got another mode which signifies that the converter is operating under discontinuous conduction mode. Another observation in this model is the switch which is used is, is an ideal switch and the nonlinear dynamics in terms of turn on time, turn off time is not taken into account over here. To summarize the presentation, we saw how the challenges associated with sizing and understanding the behavior of the converter are addressed using MATLAB and Simulink. 